Hey guys, and welcome back to Daily Duel. So today is Wednesday, and that means that we are using Mermels. But before that, I just want to say, Happy Birthday, Sean. Yes, uh, I believe it's Sean's birthday. Facebook said, Hey, it's Sean's birthday. And I was like, Okay, Sean, happy birthday, man. You know? Uh, so, congratulations on being however old you are. I didn't check the age. I forgot. I think you're like 22, I think. But yeah, just wanted to definitely say happy birthday to you. Because, you know, birthdays are awesome. Gotta love your birthday. I'm gonna go ahead and pick Chimegalo, because we can always bring him back with Gund. Oh, actually, I could have pitched right now, but it's cool. Uh. Yeah. You know? Uh, what else do I want to say? I also want to say, um,. Tell me if you guys enjoyed that first episode of Foz. If you haven't seen it already, you know, a little message pops up taking you there. So you guys can go ahead and watch that. So that's always good to watch. Uh, we'll get Marksman. Because I feel like we might have some set cards going on. So I'm going to revive my Megalo that I pitched. And then we can make a sack. And who doesn't like to make a Draco sack, you know? Like, if you can make rank 7s, you know, that's, like, that's like one of the most satisfying feelings of making a rank 7. It's just making a Draco, Dra I almost said Draco sack, Draco sack, and just summoning two tokens. Just, boom, boom, just, ah, oh, yes. So, of course, you guys know that I record these ahead of time, so I'm going to pretty much tell you about my Tuesday, since it's Wednesday. The Tuesday, I have art, and I was supposed to have English. <laughs> so... Art class, midterms are over, midterms are turning, I got my grade back, I have an A-, minus. I'm perfectly fine with that, you know, I'm not trying to be the best student in the class, you know, I'm surprised I got an A-, shit, I would've gave myself like a C, but, you know, my midterm drawing was fairly good, and he even commented on, he said, um, looks like I'm really improving, so I'm proud of that. So, instead of, you know, doing the usual thing that we were doing before, previously, uh, we pretty much jump into something brand new. And we start doing faces. Yes, faces. Freaking great. I'm screwed. I'm, 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 I can't. I don't know. You know? Faces? He quit. He quit. Okay, I guess we'll be right back. So, yeah. Alright, we're back. So, yes, I'm winning paper rocks today. You know, people think that, oh, think I'm choose paper? No, 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 no. Alright, well, this hand is kind of bleh. So I guess I can just set some seers and stuff. I'm just gonna bluff the hell out of my opponent. I'm just gonna scare the crap out of him. He thinks I'm actually doing something extreme, and they're all just bluffs. So, yep, faces. Uh, so he kind of taught us how to do faces, the little formula for doing it, and then pretty much he, it took about two hours for him to teach us. Keep in mind the class is, is three hours long. Am I going up against that, uh... Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna activate this here. We're gonna go ahead and summon... L -l 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 land. Uh... It took us, him about two hours to teach us how to draw that. And... Uh, it was just like, wow, okay. So finally he finished teaching us how to draw it, and, um, he pretty much said, get out your charcoal, shade the paper, and try to do it by yourself with the vine charcoal. You know, vine charcoal, you can erase really well, you just wipe it off, and bam, it's gone. So, um, it was really easy to test. You pretty much looked at a mirror, which is what you wanted to do, is look in a mirror, and draw yourself, essentially. Go ahead and summon a mega low. Can you only you, you can activate multiple spheres in one turn, can't you? If you can, that's cheap. That's so cheap. It's a white monster. Who the hell plays that? So what is it? With the lowest attack? Oh, I can only use one lin once per turn. That's right. Uh, 
Yeah, I'll do that. There you go. Yeah, I don't care about Turch. Who the hell sets that? You know? No one does that. That's weird. Sakuretsu armor. That's also weird. You know? Eh, whatever. Okay, so to inflicts damage, I'd pretty much get to summon marksman. I, I mean, I mean, why? None of them are tuners, so there's really no point in me doing that. Also, just run you over. Yeah, it's not the best. Definitely not the best. Uh, I should really. I mean, I, I, I only have the wind. Probably should have played someone else. My bad. Go ahead. Um, or probably played marksman, but yeah. Um, shit. What was I gonna say? So, uh, I drew the vine charcoal. Kind of came out looking like crap. I mean, the drawing when you look at it, I pretty much can't show you because if I scan it or do or whatever, it'll smudge. It'll smudge like oh, it'll pretty much erase. So, essentially, what I'm doing. Oh my god, I hate when you get lead in your hand. Because three wire monsters is so much, you know? Like, I can get back to Lind, but is it worth it? That's that's the question, you know? That's definitely the question. I mean, I mean, I guess I can go summon Marksman, attack over, attack with Marksman, he takes the damage, then summon another monster, then attack with that, uh, and then salvage my stuff back. So I, I'll, I'll try that, but... Not the best. You know, never want to draw a lead. Lead is probably the worst monster that you can draw, and that's the reason why you only play one. So he's playing that Moon Sun Dragon deck. Whatever it's called. Battle Fader. Aww. I want to inflict damage. Go ahead. You jerk. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I can't really show you that one, but it, it, it looks like me. I would say that it definitely does look like me, like you can actually tell, yes, that is Daniel. So, you know, as long as that came out okay, that's all I care about, you know. There is not a lot I can do, you know. I mean, <sighs> can't I do that? Can I do that? We'll try that. So, you get him. You get it. You can select the person when you're very effective and engage it. And it's such a guy during the end phase. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I could go ahead and make like a Zen. I mean, not a Zen. A, Levi a, Levi a Leviathan. But he has no set cards that I can really destroy, so there'd really be no point. I always got the salvage, so I can just take these two and put them right back. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm okay. Not really in a hurry to be winning this duel, and that guy just simply goes away. <laughs> Definitely up on him with resources. After that, I was supposed to. Supposed to go to English class. But you see, I didn't. Damn. Damn, man. All the back row. Well, knowing you, it's probably just like Sakuretsu armors and shit, so... We'll pop that one first. Divine Wrath, see? And we'll go ahead and make a... a U. Alright, now let's do something I want to test. Unless I something happens with the back his back row. I want to test it. Let's see. That's fine, I guess. I don't care. So I guess I'll just hit you for 24. Unless it's Sakurai's armor. I guess not. Uh, go ahead. So you got 1, 2, and I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so... Uh, you might want to scoop it up, man. Oh, look at that top deck. He was just like, 
Ugh! Damn, did you see that? Did you see that? That top deck. The only thing he could have top deck better than that was be a dark hole. Too bad I'm totally prepared for his plays. So we'll go ahead and get those two back. And we'll go ahead and activate Megalo, pitching these two to pop those two. So let's just be like a chain link three. Of course. Yep. So pow pow. And then I'll just summon a wind, and then that will pretty much be game. But yeah, I didn't go to English class today. I I, I totally ditched. There we go. Uh, I'm not done talking. We'll do one more duel. Be right back. All right, we're back. So, yep. Is it just gonna keep on going rock? It just go. It just wins you paper rock scissors, main. You know, just keeps winning paper rock scissors for you. Uh, wow. Whew, I'm glad I won that damn. Whew, that was a hard duel, you know? Shit, I was I was scared I was gonna lose that duel. Whew. Be right back. Alright, let's choose rock again. Choose scissors. Choose scissors, go ahead. Yes! Choose rock all the damn time. Shit. That's how you be getting it done. Uh I'm just gonna set her. Set this and pass to him. Or her or whatever. Um, yeah. Pretty much he what like usual Tuesday. Read the read this trap story, come in, take a quiz, answer some questions with your partner. I hate that class because it's so mundane and routine and tedious. It, you know? Nothing new happens in that damn class, you know? At least history, at least we're learning something new. At least psychology we're learning something new. At least art we're drawing something new. Freaking English, we just keep on doing the same irrelevant shit that has nothing to do with anything every single damn week. So, this time, he wanted us to pretty much read um, this five-page passage. And I read, I, I read like, the first page of it, and it was the most boring piece of shit I've ever read in my life. Oh my god, I straight up wanted to just... Cur myself. Oh my god. You know? It was boring. It was hella boring. It was just straight up the most boring shit ever. It was about a girl who liked to read dictionaries. Come on, woman. You know? And why is he giving this material like that? So I, I couldn't read it. It was so boring. It was so dry. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't read it. I couldn't remember what I read. And I straight up just didn't feel like reading it. You know? It was just terrible. No, so I was just like, nope, not re not nope, not reading this. He probably gonna sink. It's fine. We can sink for a scrap dragon, maybe. You know, it's just boring. So, pretty much, it was like, hmm, should I even go to class? I didn't read the material. Class, we're gonna take a quiz on material, and then the rest of the class, we're just gonna talk about the material. Ooh. I don't know why I thought he was going to make a frickin' uh, Stardust or Scrap Dragon. Of course he's going to make a Crimson Blader. Who doesn't make Crimson Bladers nowadays? So I might as well summon my level 7 monster now. The next turn I can't summon him, so that's fine. So I think I'll do this play. Seems like a legit play. Wish I could just find a way to discard and gun, but right now, nope. Because its effects are negated. You know, if you could just go fear, summon like a spike or something, pitch that. So I mean, I guess that'd be a little bit cheap, but whatever. Uh, so there was really no point in going to class. So I pretty much after art class just hopped in my car and went home. You know, there was really no point in me just staying. You know, no point in me even going to class. I can't summon that. But I can activate this effect. No. And da 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 da. So I get to send a marmot or it's a water monster to the graveyard, and I would miss timing if I do something 
I mean, I guess we can send Archer. So go ahead and pop your blader. New. And, uh, hit you for 27. Hopefully. Background? Oh, no? Okay. Ah. Uh, and I think I'm done. I think I'll just pass to you, sir. You know? Can't even really do anything this turn, even if I wanted to. Besides, probably may activate a sphere or summon another um, Mermel monster, attack you with it, next scene to a Draco Sack, but can't summon level 7 so high. Yep. Here comes Grunix. Everybody's favorite Grunix. Grunix is so annoying. <laughs> Oh, Yaksha. Okay, then Yaksha's gonna ram into me, and then he's gonna get Grunix. So, come on. Oh, you want Tenki. Okay. You gonna get a bear? Are you gonna get a Barong or something? I don't know. I mean, it's Fire Kings. It's obviously Fire Kings. So, I still got a crap ton of work to do, actually. Bear. Okay. Well, like, I didn't see that coming. I did, but... It's really whatever. Wow, okay, so he's not gonna do anything. That's odd. You know? That's definitely odd. I definitely thought he was maybe gonna do something. I mean, I'm thinking about doing something. Yeah... No. Toronto. That's fine. Alright, well. I go first. I'll just summon a Megalo. And then you'll destroy the Grunix in your hand. Right? Am I correct? Yep, of course. It's Fire Kings. You know, it's uh, it's one of the most newbiest decks you can play. So, but yeah, we're gonna activate this. Pitch these two. They're both gonna go off. And I'm gonna get a Megalo. And can you guess what I'm going to make? Can you guess? Can you guess what I'm gonna make? I'm gonna make a big guy, and I'm gonna take your monster. Add a card to my hand. Say what? Give me Diva. Who the hell's trying to go off right? Oh. Of course. You. Yeah, you may go off, sir. That's fine. Uh I don't need you to anymore. You've served your purpose. Alright, 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 alright. So we're gonna go ahead and make a big ah. Uh, and big guy is going to take your monster. Put him back. Give me that. And we're going to summon this. Yay, I win. Screw fire kings. I'm the wiener. Alright. So that's pretty much all my day. You know, I really haven't been doing anything. So I got to work. I got to watch these YouTube videos where I got to learn how to draw faces better. Like eyes and noses and lips. Ugh. Then I got to. I also have to work on my English essay, which you guys will probably help me on my English essay. I pretty much have to essay, write an essay about how Yu-Gi-Oh is not a children's card game. Five-page essay, double-spaced, uh, about how uh, Yu-Gi-Oh is not a children's card game. It should be pretty simple, you know, such as how expensive it is, how complicated the game mechanics are, you know, how you know there's what big tournaments like worldwide tournaments for it. You know, it's no children's card game, you know. But yeah, I gotta write a that, and I also gotta write a history essay about I don't even know. I probably have to look it over. I'm probably gonna <sighs> BS that one, like hella. So, that's pretty much my day. So, I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you guys for all the support. Uh, make sure you go ahead and comment and say happy birthday to Sean, because, yes, it's his birthday, I think. And on his Facebook, it's just straight up lying to me, or he put a different day than his birthday for Facebook, and yeah, but... For all I know, it's his birthday, so happy birthday, Sean. If it's not your birthday, then happy birthday anyway. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with Lightsworns.